Devastating loss for a 14-year-old student who is visually impaired. Someone stole his primary teaching tool, one that allows him to do his schoolwork and have access to the Internet. Kristen Ayers explains the boy's mother may have to foot the bill for this expensive device. Kristen? And Ellen, the device was uh, actually stolen from a boy who was a student here at the California School for the Blind. Uh, it's been described to me as a very large, very expensive type of Blackberry that can read Braille. And for a young man who can't see, it was his link to the world around him. Why would someone do this? Annie Jarrett's son, Kevin, has never had it easy. Born with congenital glaucoma, he is legally blind. But Annie never thought he'd be the victim of such a heartbreaking oh, crime. Okay. It was terrible to realize that someone had violated not just, you know, any damage, but a 14-year-old boy. Kevin and Annie were at an eye doctor's appointment in Oakland Tuesday when Annie says a thief smashed in the side window of their SUV and took off with Kevin's backpack. We found that the car door was smashed and his backpack was stolen. Sorry. Inside was this device called a Braille note. It's worth anywhere from five to seven thousand dollars. And for Kevin, it's a lifeline. I depend on it to do all my homework, like English homework and things like that. Officials at the School for the Blind that Kevin attends say it allows blind people to do everything from word processing to internet surfing and reading ebooks, all using Braille. Never. Address list. Annie doubts the thief would even know what to do with the Braille note. It's useless to anyone who doesn't read Braille. The equipment was on loan from the California School for the Blind, and Annie just found out she will have to pay for the equipment if it's never found. We would just love for this equipment to be returned, no questions asked. It really does hurt people if you do steal from them, no matter what it is. The family has filed a police report, but it's a really low priority for Oakland's overwhelmed department. The school, meanwhile, is urging anyone who sees that device to return it to the school here in Fremont or to any police department uh, with a note affixed to it saying for Kevin. Alan. All right. Kristen Ayers in Fremont. Thank you.